Right, let's go through maybe some settings. So, um, this is where, when I said earlier in a video, you could change it. So I can change that to pull demo 18. Tells me it's available and I can save it. So you're not nailed down to your Twitter handle. You can change your language and your time zone. Verify login requests. You need to add a phone number, uh, password reset, timeline stuff, privacy and safety. Um, you can lock down your Twitter account. Um, you can turn people off, add location to my tweets. Not a lot of stuff that I've ever changed really, but there's obviously things you can. This one, maybe when you're starting out, you'll allow anybody to send you a direct message. Generally, only the people who can um, send you direct messages are somebody you're following. So you've got to be following each other. So you may turn that on. Um, cards and shipping, I'm not going to go through. Order history, I'm not worried. Mobile email notifications, kind of big. So if you see at the start, everything's turned on. And if you, as you're starting out, if you think you're going to get a lot of Twitter followers, you might not want to get an email every single time somebody follows you or someone likes, someone retweets. You might want an email when you're mentioned. When someone likes your tweet, I don't think you want. My tweets are retweeted. I mean, it's cool, but you don't want an email. So when you not when you log into your Twitter account, you'll get the notification of all this. But you might not, You might if someone directly mentions you, you might want to know. You get a reply, I'm followed by someone new. I'm sent a message, maybe you want that. Someone emails a tweet to me, I'm not really bothered. So you can turn it all off. And it may drive you crazy with it on, so you may just want to turn it all off. You know, and you're done. So, oh, I don't say it's locked me down. So yeah, there's set, those are the settings. Um, oh, hopefully this is not going to lock me down. This is why you needed to set up your phone number. Now the problem I've been having is is the the number I put in. It does it's the correct number, but it just doesn't phone me. So yeah, so it's it's locked me down. So that's the reason you want to make sure that you put a phone number in there. Um, what I'll do is I'll use my own Twitter account from here on. I think. Um, because I know if I even if I put this my phone number in here, the damn thing doesn't make my phone ring. So it's a bit of annoyance. So let me continue on my account.